Hey guys, this is Veronica speaking with stars and welcome back to my channel. So today, we are gonna be doing a shorter video, not because the piece is smaller or I took less time drawing it. It was mostly because my phone couldn't handle taking so much video recording anymore, so I didn't have any footage for the rest of this drawing. So for now, you will be seeing mostly the line art. You'll see a little bit of coloring. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty chill, I think. And I hope you enjoy. So, this piece is actually my Christmas gift for one of my friends during the holidays. Uh, and I originally thought of this in watercolor. Like, the scene in my head was very dreamy and pastel y and soft. And then, as I was finishing the line art, I suddenly decided to switch over and use colored pencil because I, well, I enjoy it for one. And also, her favorite medium right now is colored pencil. So I wanted to, you know, try to use that medium for this drawing. I kind of regret it because <laughs> it took so much time and I overestimated my skill to get it done before midnight or even before the end of the year for that matter. So it's a very late gift. Thankfully, she was forgiving about it. But I ended up also using watercolor for the background in the end because I couldn't visualize in my head how I'd get that same vibe and feel as I would do with watercolor. Unfortunately, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see it except for the end where I show the piece itself. But I really couldn't imagine how to do like a bokeh effect with colored pencil. I'm sure it's doable, but I couldn't like make heads or tails with what I wanted to do with myself. So this is gonna be mixed media of colored pencil and watercolor. Yeah, that's basically it. I also enjoyed this in a way that I haven't drawn anything particularly in water in a while, I think. Yeah, I'm trying, like I did the moon prints one that had a little bit of water, but it was quite some time ago. So I really actually do enjoy things with like water or a pool. Um, if it's still water, the better. <laughs> I like how it just cuts through the drawing and has this like nice blue demarcation line. And despite everything that I'm saying about it, I did enjoy how this turned out. Um, I'm starting to enjoy colored pencils a lot more nowadays. It's still not my best medium. I have a lot to learn. And I would consider watercolor to still be my default medium of everything. Uh, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, I used to find colored pencils very tedious and time consuming, and it still is, but I'm starting to like the process a lot more nowadays. So I actually do remember what happened to this record or recording this video. So I was doing this a couple of days before Christmas. And of course Christmas was always busy for me because I had to help out with cooking and everything. And I tried to record. Unfortunately my phone my phone's memory and storage, I think, just for some reason had a lot of stuff in it. And I ended up doing a full factory reset because I wasn't sure what I could and couldn't delete anymore. So I reset it. It took quite some time to actually get everything back in order. And by the time that I finished this drawing, it wasn't worth it anymore to attempt to record it since the gap would be too huge between the beginning here and the ending. So I just started working on this offline for a lot of times. And I kind of regret it because I actually do like how it turned out a lot. And I really enjoyed doing the background. Like these, these are one of the pieces where I do feel proud of myself regarding the background. Because even though it's very simple, I like the colors and everything. But oh well. <laughs> Too bad. Like now I bought myself a, because of that, I actually bought a webcam just to record 
my traditional works because I do feel like I'm bloating up my phone a bit too much with video recording. And it is kind of annoying because with my phone, since there's a storage limit, um, I eventually have to stop drawing and recording to transfer clips. Like Even though it's like a five minute um, transfer, it still does break my concentration and all of that. So just having a webcam transferred directly to my computer is a lot easier. And I don't know why I hesitated for so long to buy a webcam. Like, I could use it for other stuff if I, you know, if I stopped doing YouTube, but I should have bought this a long time ago. I haven't tested it out for drawing yet, but based on my test footage of just having sketches and different drawings in front of it, it seems to work pretty well. If you're curious, it's, it's the Logitech. C9... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Where's the box? I can't see it. Oh well. I'll talk about it more when I actually do use the webcam for a drawing. So what I'm trying to do here is I use that nice like reddish deepish tan color in hopes that the hair would have a reddish undertone to it. And then on top I did put this um burgundy-ish I don't know what color that is actually like it's a wineish red wine color to amplify the deepness of the red um, maybe, maybe it was too much because now it looks more brown red than black red so I think next time what I'll be doing is to use that the, the tan and the wine color somewhere more near towards the highlight and then gradient that down to black instead instead of having it cover the entire hair area because I want it to be more black but I couldn't make it blacker any more than that oh well, things that you learn also regarding next week, I will be on a trip yeah, just within the country but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the video out my character designing that I've been working on on my live streams is not yet done, so I don't know if I'll be releasing the base and the clothes in different videos. We'll see how, how I'll go about that. I'm also not sure if I'll be able to get any drawing in this weekend. We'll see if I get to finish something. If I do, yay. If I don't, here's your warning. Again, then again, you guys are used to me not being on schedule at all. <laughs> like, today. It's Sunday and I'm only editing the video now. Ooh. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's short and not complete, but I still hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, consider liking the video or subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of art, but not super fine arty, I guess. <laughs> uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Art as well for other stuff. And I'll see you around.